Hello, so I'm back again, but this time with a very cool update. I'm officially releasing uh, Footprint Candles uh, Spaceman. So the interesting part about this one is it actually took a little bit more time to code than I expected. Um, but it, it's all come together. It's incredible. And basically it is Delta, candle, Delta Ladder Candles, but with the extra statistics. And the reason I've done this is because it would allow the more advanced traders to handle all the numbers themselves. Um, and they can decide the relative strength of uh, a, a sweep for example and the reason I've done this this way is because it allows new traders to approach this without having to see all these numbers um, and potentially get confused in a lot uh, in a loss of settings and another thing was I'm gonna keep this one in its raw form I'll make some visual updates over time um, but the reason I say raw form is because I will let the numbers speak for themselves Whereas on this one, I will automate the relative strength to some degree. And obviously with automation, you come across some problems of, is the automation good enough? Now I'll let the user decide that themselves. Um, and that's why I've provided the footprint candles. And I was going to do this anyway, because this is what I use. Um, sorry, I have an alarm. Uh, this is what I use in my day to day. I love footprint candles. Um, it's something that I've had uh, for a while. And while I was obviously making this, I had some issues, so I couldn't release it. And I wanted to make sure it was perfect. So I'm releasing this one second. Um, and so I'll begin by showing you that there's quite obviously the bid ask split. Um, you can see that here. So the negative is representing the sellers and the positive is representing the buyers. And when this is greater than the negatives, of course, you get your uh, positive delta. And when this is less, so you see negative 11 million and positive 8 million, that's your negative delta and the same with here. Uh, but for this demonstration, I will be going into just delta mode because um, it gives you the relevant information for simplicity's sake and it highlights basically what Delta Candle would show, but with the still the statistics at hand. And I think this is a very important feature. And just in case it's a little hard to read on video, I'll just make it large. There you go. You can look at that. It's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Um, so let's let's proceed. Um, so going ahead with this video, uh, I will go ahead and show you a good sweep uh, for the long side. Um, and for the long side. Uh, let's get rid of this. It was something I was doing for screenshots. Uh, so I highlighted these regions and you see this was a sweep of this low. So we, we came down, took it out real quick, made a quick bounce, sweep below, deviation, reclaim, uh, took a new high. Um, so I think this level is quite significant. So I highlighted this as my swing low and this is roughly where I exited my uh, short. I actually exited around here. So not actually bad. Uh, yeah, I could have made some more money, but you know, I was tired. I wanted to go sleep and I posted that on my Twitter. So if you want to see that, go ahead. Um, and click onto my Twitter, you'll see like I've actually posted the trade. Um, and how did I take that trade? Well, actually, I said I used Delta Ladders, but I actually used Footprint Candles. Now, Delta Ladders showed you the same thing, but Footprint Candles, if you're willing to look at the numbers, gives you just a little bit more confidence and a little bit more uh, agreeability into the fact that uh, there was a sweep of a high and there was a trap shorters and so on and so forth uh, because you can see the relevancy. And I'm going to explain that now. So let's say let's zoom into this and this is this region. So you can see as I hover over the crosshair matches across. Um, okay, so coming here, you'll see that there was quite a bit of strong selling. And coming into this level, we had a, a closed wick green above. So it's actually, oh wait, this might actually be, yeah, it's meant to be on the one hour. Apologies for that. Um, let's just load that up real quick. It takes a sec sometimes. Yeah, here you go. So, so I'm on the one hour delta, so obviously you have to match up with the one hour chart. So if you come over here, you see this is the green bar for the green bar on the right. So it's the same one. And we closed green with a very long wick and you can see the highlighted delta. So this is the highlighted delta, not the highlighted volume. So it's not necessarily a VPOC, but a delta VPOC is something I made myself. Um, and it highlights the fact that most of the delta was negative. However, where the strongest delta was negative. However, it's at the bottom of a candle. So what could this indicate? This could indicate to us that there's been some trapped sellers. Now, how, how else are we gonna gather this confidence? Well, if you look at this selling, you can see here an additional wick and a failure to push the price lower on this candle. So we didn't even get to close below. We had some buying pressure coming through and you can see that with the green delta coming in. This candle, you see the highest delta isn't actually that high. And so when we do finally take out this low here, so if we were to actually draw a line, this would actually be a solid uh, way to trade this. I should have actually showed this, but I wasn't actually trading this. Like I said, I exited my short here. I never took any long, so I went to bed. Um, you see on this sweep of this low, trapped shorters, every single one of them are trapped. There's 48 million here. 
compared to what the seven million here and these guys probably exited or they're dumb enough to enter a trade at the bottom somewhere else but these are the sellers that are trapped so we come up we see there's some bullish candle failure to close below bullish candle with green green positive delta and once again the next strong negative delta which is quite strong like it's not weak both of these are very strong because you can see there are some 10 million prints 7 million prints and if you go up you'll find 12 million prints 7 million prints 11 million prints this is another 39 million print for the perps contracts of btc ftx and once again they are trapped and look how very bullish this candle is it takes out the high of the last bullish candle has very long wick and has a very clear strong negative delta at the bottom this is definitely indicating trap sellers now for me i use this as confluence because sometimes i see a sweep of a level and i'm like oh i don't really know if this is going to be a sweep or if this is just going to go back down well since i've made this it's become a lot more obvious to me i'm not gonna lie it's actually great because some of my traders who haven't even gotten this version yet they've been using delta ladder candles and they've thanked me and it's, it's actually the coolest thing because it's like my work is useful you know like that's pretty cool and i appreciate it and once again you see here trap sellers so now this one isn't as significant but what this should highlight as opposed to showing that there's more uh trap sellers as of course the relative strength has decreased just a little bit you will see that it's still a decent amount of sellers and they also failed to push price down so this should indicate that buying pressure is really pouring in here and you probably see that on the bid and ask but for the sake of this video like i said i'm gonna keep it simple and as a result of this you can see we started to make some movements up we came back down to retest and started to trend up for the day so far. Now, if that doesn't give you some confluence, I don't know what will. I think that is the clearest and most obvious way I can show this indicator um, and how to use it. So this is a good how to use footprint candles. Now, I'll, I'll make a settings video and all that soon, but that was the main one I wanted to show you. Now, here is actually another one I've screenshotted. I don't think I've saved this line on this side. So let's copy and paste this. So let's grab this one. Come right here, paste it. There you go. Beautiful. So I've made a screenshot of this and described it on my Twitter. Similar logic, but slightly different. Um, let's see. So coming up to here, you can see there's strong buy pressure and quite a strong candle close above. And coming into this region, we see that sellers obviously took over here. And once again, buyers took back control, made a green candle. However, the buying was once again at the top of this wick. You'll see that the volume has slowly decreased for the buy pressure. And instead, we've seen an increase in the sell pressure. So the sell delta will actually increase as almost, as double, more than double the previous candle. So this could indicate that we are starting to trap some longers. And I personally wouldn't have taken this trade yet. And I actually took it, I believe, on a failure here around this region. I was teaching my friend some trading, how to use delta ladder candles, but he hasn't actually used this one yet. And I haven't taught him this one yet either. I will send him the video straight after. I wouldn't have taken this trade yet. I would have taken the trade on the loss of this level now why because this would indicate deviation and the loss of this level if you see and pay attention to the delta was also relatively strong in comparison to the buying candle that was above it so this would indicate trap buyers at the top with this wick as well as a strong breakdown of this level and is definitely a deviation well obviously there's probability at hand but i'd say most likely a deviation so you could have taken this short and as you were taking this short you would have been comfortable holding it not because price didn't go back up even if price went back up that's fine but mainly because the delta is once again showing you the strength of the selling that is occurring 47 million now of course there are times when buying might start to come back in but the beauty of this the absolute beauty of this is this region you can see here that the buy delta that actually came in was weak compared to the previous sell deltas 32 million 47 million 41 million and then you have 7 million 12 million 11 million so you could have actually held that trade knowing that this would have been a selling period so red candle but with a screen green buy delta but it's quite weak green candle with green buy delta but it's quite weak red candle with green buy delta it's quite weak and this is where i actually i believe i and yep I, I entered the trade around this region at the loss of this level because i saw once again if i was to copy this line there was actually a level here that these are now also trapped long it's probably people who are like oh look we've got a green candle likely the end of the bounce when it came down here and took this low but no if you actually had these enabled you would have seen that in fact the buying delta was very weak in comparison to the sell delta and therefore we started to trend down 
Anyway, that's it for this video. I think it's very well explained here. This is probably the best explanation I've given on these indicators so far. And the reason I made the explanation for this one better is because there's more to explain. There's more data to give you and more data to show you. I hope you enjoyed. I think this is a huge one. I'm using it constantly. It's by far one of my favorite indicators so far. And I have a few more in work and I think they're gonna blow you away as well. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to uh, releasing more indicators for everyone soon and hopefully showing some more trades. It's just as you can see, I spent a lot of time developing. So sometimes I just take a trade in the background, quickly get in, get out, and then I get back onto my coding, my indicators. But yeah, have fun, have a good day. I look forward to showing you guys some more stuff soon.